comic book community. What is going on, Long Box Love Affair here? I have three boxes of CGC books to unbox. Uh, two of these have been in my possession for about a week and a half, two weeks. The other one just came today, so I figured it's time to break the seal. It's time to show these books off. These are all old comics. These are silver and bronze, bronze age, maybe some copper, probably mostly silver and bronze. It, these books have taken me 11 months. I thought maybe 10 months or you know eight months, 11 months, almost a year. I've, I submitted these books in January, 2022. And so it's now December, 2022. So uh, it has taken forever to get these books back. These that And they went economy tier. I should have fast-tracked them. I went the cheap way out and I might change that up in the future. So there, there are first appearances. There's key comics here. Uh, most of these are private collection books. These are not books that I'm looking to flip or sell. Uh, these are books that mean something to me and I want to get them graded. I had them pressed. I had them cleaned and they went off to CGC. So we will see what's in them. So let's check out box number one. Before I get into the unboxing, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up if you like what you see, comment down below, and hey, check out my Instagram page and my WhatNot channel. Both are the same handle, Long Box of Affair, and the links are in the description of this video down below. Thanks for watching. All right, disclaimer, I do not know the grades, but what I will do is once I open and once I unveil the grades, I'll look up and see what the value is at this moment in time. I'll use Go Collect and figure out, you know, is this, um, you know, book, well, what's this book trending at right now? So these are, two, feels like two slabs, two slabs here. All right, the first book, I'm gonna reveal it old school. This is Avengers, is it 11? It's an early appearance of Kang. Uh, I bought this at an LCS uh, in my hometown. I just love it because it's an early Spider-Man uh, crossover. So let's see what the grade is. I have no clue. I didn't do an assessment ahead of time. A 5-0. Whoa, that's nice. Very nice. I, I can't remember what I paid for this. I paid less than $200 for this book. I can't remember what it was, what ballpark. I had it pressed and cleaned. I can definitely see that it has the indents. Um along the spine, it has some spine wear. So let me look this up on Go Collect and see what this book goes for. As of filming this, fair market value for a 5.0 CGC is 375. That is the trend. Uh, I'm happy with that. This is a 5.0 in an early Avengers book, Avengers 11, so the first year of Avengers publication. It's got a killer Spider-Man cover. I love the shading on that Spidey. Uh, it's just really awesome. Sorry, the glare is happening. I usually film during the day. It's nighttime. I just couldn't wait. I wanted to see what these grades were. So this is a Stanley story. Who did the cover? Jack Kirby and Chick Stone. Jack Kirby, Spider-Man cover. Uh, Avengers 11. Yeah, I'm up for that. All right, the other book... The other book in this uh, lot of two that got sent to CGC was, okay, bought this at the same time. First issue of Conan the Destroyer, or the Barbarian, I'm sorry. Uh, issue number one. I'm just a big Barry Windsor Smith fan. Um, I'm, I'm not expecting a 5-0 on this. I think it had some wear. I'm a little nervous because I probably overpaid. I think I paid like 300 some odd for this and yes the market is very down right now so that also colors this video when talking about prices so let's see what i got a four okay in my head i was thinking it was less than five uh probably just slightly less so 4.0 key comic origin and first appearance of conan and first appearance of king call and cameo um i don't collect conan i do I just, I, I do like this issue. I like this cover. It's iconic. It's the first issue. There are a couple of issues in the early Conan run between 1 and 25 that are are, are ones to collect. I have issue 25. It's an, it's the last Barry Windsor Smith in that uh, full ongoing title. But uh, this is from 1970. Uh, just really cool book. A 4.0. Let's see what that goes for. Market value for the 4.0 is around 280. So I paid slightly higher than that. Yes, I had grading fees and all of that, but at the time I was paying market rate or slightly better, I think. So, um, you know, you can't win them all. And I had these books at CGC for 11 months. So the market is tremendously different than it was then. So, um, yeah, you can't win, uh, but I'm happy with this. I'm happy to have it slab. I have no regrets. 
to be quite honest. It's right on par with what I paid, slightly fluctuation. But again, I'm not selling this, I'm in it for the long haul. So this is, this is a book that I'm keeping for a bit. All right, I'm cutting into the next box. So I bought this off a local dealer. We met up at a vacant school parking lot. We made the deal. Fantastic 452, first appearance of Black Panther. I was thinking it might be 2.5 to 3, uh, 3 0. Um, I bought this right before Tra Chadwick Boseman passed away. I paid about 3 three fifty for it, uh, and it started skyrocketing at that point, uh, and you could almost never find this on the shelf, so I was happy to grab a copy while I could. Uh, let's see what the grade was. A 3, okay. Right on par, right on par with what I was expecting. Okay, and I got the FF label, um, the uh, Galactus label uh, with the characters on it. Black Panther, uh, first appearance, key comic. It's beat, you know, I, I knew it was beat uh, when I bought it. It um, it does have some, the wear on the on the cover, but you know, uh, if, if you follow me, uh, you know that sometimes I don't collect for grade alone and I collect for affordability to have the book and to love it, and I just want a complete copy. So this was a complete copy, all, all put together, and I'm proud to own this, I'm excited, 3.0. Uh, let's see what it's worth. 3.0, fair market value, is $525. So buying this for three, 350, I made out pretty well. And at the height, it was over a $600 book uh, before the market kind of got a little sucky. So getting this, I still made money if I was to sell it. But like I said, this is not something I'm selling. I'm keeping this in the collection. And I think it'll only appreciate in value. 3.0, I'm happy with. Next up is the bigger box that just came in today. The box is a little dented. So hopefully that doesn't uh, bode poorly for what's inside. Okay, I have them upside down. There's about four or so. I think there's four slabs in front of me. I'm just doing the touch test. Uh, I don't know which ones they are. It's like I said, it's been forever. I can't remember because I also have some other older uh, bronze and silver age that are still waiting to be graded that I can't remember exactly what I sent in. So let's see. Oh, okay. Shang-Chi. First appearance of Shang-Chi. <laughs> this book was hot when I sent it in. It's not so much anymore. I think I got a decent copy. Can't remember how much I paid for it. Uh, maybe I'll jog my memory when I see the actual prices, but let's see the grade. 6.5, six, 6.5. Five. Six, five. Off white to white pages. Uh, it was really a nice copy, it was solid. First appearance of Shang-Chi, Fu Manchu, and a couple of other characters. So this was all the rage before the movie came out, and then it really cooled down, like massively. It will come back, because Shang-Chi Shang -Chi is not done. He is in the MCU. He is alive and well. He'll probably be in the Avengers or something like that. So let me see what a 6.5 is worth. So fair market value for this is around $300. I think I did overpay, uh, but that was in the hype and me just wanting to have a copy. Uh, hey, I, I, I like it. It was uh, the affordable copy I could find at that time. So that, that, that tells you something. And then, you know, I should, you know, could have bought a slab, a 6.5 slab for much, much more. Uh, so that is not the case anymore. One cannot predict the market. Uh, and I should say this is special Marvel edition 15. Next is... Tomb of Dracula, number one. I bought this at an estate sale. I thought it was a really nice copy. This is the first appearance of Dracula in Marvel continuity. Um, let's see, let's rip the bandage. Can I get a six or a seven? Six, five, right in the middle, right in the middle. Uh, this is a book that everyone was talking about. Tomb of Dracula, number five. How much did I pay for this? Two or $300, I think, uh, at the estate sale. They had some price stuff, some stuff priced really cheaply and some stuff priced uh, either market rate or maybe even higher. So did I overpay on a 6.5? Let's see. So Go Collect says this book is worth $460. Low is around 300, which is right around what I paid, I think. But uh, 460 or $450, uh, I'll take that. I think that was a good investment. This book is um, Marvel Bronze Age horror books are only going to get more interest if they do more with Werewolf by Night or other... Uh, gothic characters like that. And this came out in 1972, so I'm happy to have a 6.5 in a 1972 book. Hey, I, I, you know, pretty cool to have all these older books graded. I do a lot of modern books, but it's cool to see the, the older ones come back finally. Two more books. All right. 
before Morbius happened, you know, I, I sent these books before the movie. Uh, did I think I was going to get them back in time? No. Did I think it would take 11 months? No. I thought I'd have them back sooner. But uh, I, I love this cover. So when I sent this off to Grady and I was like, maybe I'll sell this, but I actually think I'll probably hold on to it for a bit. Uh, it is Morbius in his first solo story, I believe. Um, this is Adventure into Fear. Just, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. It's a 7-5. Uh, Adventure into Fear 20. 7-5. Um, first published Paul Galassi work. Hmm, who knew? Uh, Morbius the Living Vampire uh, begins, and it looks like uh, we got more gothic uh, Dracula referencing here. He's not in it, but it's in that style. 7.5 is a respectful grade for this book. I love the colors. Uh, I, 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 I like Morbius as a character. I don't didn't love the movie. You know, who did? Not many. Uh, but you know, we'll see whatever happens with, with the character in the comics. Will that popularity continue um, in the books, not not the movies? So let's see what the grade is, or let's see what the price is for a 7.5. All right, Fair Market is around $85. That's pretty cheap. Uh, that is more than I paid for the book. So, hey, you know, that, that works out. Uh, but it's cool to have it graded if it ever goes up. You know, that, that's, that's always a good thing. But again, like I said, not trying to sell it just yet. Last book in the CGC unboxing is another horror book, I think. Yes, so this is the Blade Morbius tie-in. I think this might be the first time Blade and Morbius meet. Uh, it's Adventure into Fear, number 24. There is a value stamp in this, so I don't remember if I checked to see if there was a stamp there. I didn't realize there was a stamp until after. So let's see. 6-5. And the stamp is in there, so I didn't get a qualified grade. Great. Uh, so that's exciting. Um, I can't remember what I paid for this, but, you know, maybe 50, 50 bucks, maybe less. So uh, a, a, a 6.5 in Adventure into Fear 24. This is um, an early Blade crossover. You can see Blade is wearing his old coat, his digs that he wore. So let's see what a 6.5 is worth. I did pretty well with this, about $250. For this 6.5 fair market value. There haven't been any recent sales, but uh, yeah, they go collect is quoting about 260 or two, 240. I'm sorry, 240. So uh, I feel pretty good about that. Uh, it's nice to have it in my collection. It's complete. Uh, and just waiting for Blade, I actually have to reholder my Blade. It has a cracked slab, my first appearance of Blade. Um, and I bought that one for a dollar. But, uh, you know, did not buy this one for a dollar. Maybe about um, 40 or 50 bucks. Uh, I can't remember now. I, I get awful with record keeping with all that stuff. But these are uh, PC until they're not. <laughs> uh, so that's this haul. Um, really some, some good grades for the most part, but, you know, the, the market sucks right now. Uh, so the, the prices that I'm quoting, they could have been so much different if these books came back in the first part of the year, but we'll see. So I have other books that I sent months later that I'll probably do another haul video like this one, these older books. I'll do another video in maybe five months when those books come back. You know, I, I, I think of CGC as my storage facility. So they have a bunch of books, not a whole lot anymore, but they have a whole bunch of my older books that I'm just waiting to come back. Whereas I have modern books that I sent, they got a, checked in December 1st or so, and they're already being graded. So the modern books, fast. The older books, super slow. So be prepared to wait unless you're gonna pay for a fast track. So check those CGC um, turnaround times on, on their website. So I hope you like this haul. A little bit of a bunch of different horror books as well as some first appearances. So it's been super fun to unbox these. I'm excited to add these to the collection, put those in the, the long box and see what happens in another 11 months. So thanks for watching. Happy holidays for everybody. And I'll see you at the next video. All right, bye-bye.